the maximum friction on the car is 400 pounds. In other words, when the, the person decides to brake the car, he hits the brake pedal and he creates friction between the, right, between the road and the tires and uh, that stops the car eventually. So the maximum friction is 400 pounds. The car weighs 6,000 pounds. Will the car hit the tree? Notice that the kinds of questions and the kinds of information is giving you is not the same as the information given there. Uh, 60 meters same as there, 20 meters per second same as there, but what's missing in this problem? It didn't give you what? Yeah, it didn't give you the A. You're supposed to calculate the A. Once you calculate the A, then you can answer the question using kinematics, you see? So that's what dynamics means. Dynamics allows you to calculate the A. And then once you know the A, you can then still use the whatever you knew from kinematics, right? So in this case, then how are we supposed to calculate the A? Well, let's use F equals MA and whatever else we know about the units here. So this will be our first example. This is a good example here. Okay, so what are we supposed to do now? What are the forces on the car? We draw what's known as a force body diagram. A free body, they call this a free body diagram, a force body diagram. And we say, okay, the forces on the car uh, the friction is back this way, right? This one is uh, 400 pounds. There's the weight of the car. The gravity is pushing down on the car with a weight of uh, 6,000 pounds. And then there is what's known as the normal force. Sometimes it's written as N or sometimes it's written as Fn. Okay? The normal force is the ground supporting the object, pushing up on the object, right? Uh, and then that's it. That's all the forces. Now, with the object is going this way at 20 meters per second, but that's not a force. So I'm not going to draw that arrow on the car. I just draw that arrow on the side here. That's the initial velocity of the car, okay? So what's the acceleration of the car now? Well, F equals MA. The formula is sum of all the external forces on the car is MA. Okay, well in this case there is only one force in the X direction, right? In the Y direction they cancel each other. So uh, what we could do is you could split this up into two parts. FY equals MAY. FX equals MAX. What this says is sum of all the forces in the Y direction is equal to MAY. So the force in the y direction, you have n, then you have minus 6,000 equals 0. In the y direction, it's not accelerating, right? So in the y direction, the normal force just equals 6,000. <clears throat> okay, 6,000 pounds. In the x direction, you have uh, four, the only force is 400. Negative 400 is equal to mass. Well, what's the mass of the car? Here is what you have to do now. When you ask in mass, you have to ask yourself, what information was given? Well, it was given to us that it's 6,000 pounds. Is that the mass or the weight? That's the weight. So now convert to mass, 6,000 pounds, divided by 32, that gives you slugs. So the weight of the car is equal to mg. 6,000 pounds is the weight of the car. What does that give you here? Uh, one, exactly? 187. Point five. Okay, 187.5 slugs is the mass of the car. So that was important to do. Otherwise, you get all your numbers off. 
That's the mass of the car is 187 slugs. Okay, and now I can drop the subscript x. We don't need x all the time. We know the acceleration is in the x direction. So the acceleration is going to be negative 400 over 187, negative 2 point something, right? That's a units of what? Meters per second squared or feet per second squared? Well, what units are we in now? British? We're in British, right? It's going to be feet per second squared. This, this is in pounds. This is in slugs. When you, when it, uh, when you uh, divide the two, you get feet per second squared. OK. Then we st you can now answer the rest of the question. Is the car going to hit the tree? Well, the tree is 60 meters ahead. Okay. Now, the acceleration is negative 2.14 feet per second squared. Notice they're a little bit different units. So we're going to have to convert. We know the initial velocity is 20 meters per second. So most of the information here that is given to us is meter per second, meter. So most of the information is the matrix system. So we might as well convert that feet per second squared to meter per second squared, and then answer the rest of the question in the British uh, system, right? So how do we convert here? How many feet in a, a, a meter? Did I give you that conversion? How many feet are in a meter? If you look at the first day's notes, let's see. Over here we have, uh, I believe it's about three something. There's a little conversion here too. It gives you? It says here 3.28. 3.28 feet in a meter. So we can convert this. Okay, so 3.28 feet go into one meter. So now that this gives us the acceleration. Divide that, what do you get? Point. Point four six. Point six five. Oh, so that's a small acceleration. Of course, it's going to hit the tree, right? If it if it hit the tree with two meters per second squared, point six five. This one's a killer. It's just gone okay no hope totaled the car is totaled okay so now do you see the idea with the dynamics with dynamics you still need to remember everything you learned from kinematics you see how it all adds up you can't forget any of the kinematics plus you need to now be able to solve the acceleration of the object okay Okay, let's go to the second example here.